Hey everyone, Taylor here, and today I wanted to talk about the Gravity Rush 2 demo. Now, the funny thing about this is that I've actually played this twice already um, at the PlayStation Experience a couple weeks ago, and it was one of the few demos I went back and played a second time. I didn't care that the line was long, it was the most fun thing I played at the show. Uh, and I, when I heard that this demo was coming out, I'm like, I wonder if it's going to be that same one. And when it popped up and said like, oh, do you want the advanced or the beginner course? Um, yeah, I knew it was, it was the same demo. And so this is going to be the advanced playthrough just because the beginner one's a little, um, slow and uninteresting. I felt like I played through it just to make sure I knew what it was like. Um, but, oh my gosh, that music is so good. Guys, Gravity Rush 2 is if it weren't for Persona 5, it'd be my most anticipated game of 2017. It looks amazing. It plays amazing. Now that I've had a chance to try it out, um, everything about it looks unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, we're just pulling in here uh, to the new city. And I, I got to say, it looks nice. I like, you know, the old game, it look, had like a tinge of green to everything. And this one kind of has a tinge of kind of like teal and light blue. I, I really like that. And there's a, because it's on PS4 now, there's just like a, there's just more polish everywhere and there's more details. And there's me flying off the edge with the gravity slide. But um, it, like everything just has a little bit more flair to it. Like the menus, uh, the, the, like the text, the text box that pop up. Um, I'll show you a few things I'm talking about. Yeah, sorry if this is making you sick. It's uh, yeah, a little crazy. I'm trying to get used to the, the sliding controls again. And I will say it's so much better to play. Uh, I don't know if you guys have played Gravity Rush Remastered. Highly encourage you do it. Uh, so much better on PS4 than it is on Vita. So, um, you know, having platinumed both the Vita version and the PS4 Remastered version, I just felt right at home. Like the controls feel really, really good on the uh, for this game. The enemies behave pretty much the same and, I, and maybe this is just me and you know it's a demo so maybe they're trying to make it easier for you to play but i felt like um a lot of the homing attacks hit easier like i remember that was a big complaint of the last game it was really hard to hit like flying enemies or if you're trying to do the um the homing kick it doesn't behave in totally the way you want um even look at that little loading icon that was probably hard for you guys to see in the corner it'll, it'll come up again ah look at the glitch Gotta love those open world glitches, just plates floating there. And uh, a little later on, I had to get rid of it. <laughs> a little later on, there's a bird that's literally like standing on nothing. So um, I don't know what I was talking about. Something about the remastered version. I don't know. It's a great version. Okay, here, here's something I want to talk about too. We're going to have some dialogue that's going to pop up. I'm excited for the story because the last game, it had a... You know, there was something to keep you going. It wasn't like this amazing thing, but I, I like how that has the, <laughs> I like how it has the uh, the boxes that you can rotate, like the comic panels that still look really, really nice. Um, but to me, it feels like all the characters are more expressive. There's more voice acting. Like there really isn't voice acting in the original Gravity Rush, especially during these types of cutscenes. It's just the the text that pops up. But now everything's voiced, and even though it's in that weird like. French meets Japanese made up language from the first one. It's still nice to have some voice dialogue. It's nice to <laughs> like, I don't know. I just think it's really cool that it's a little bit more voice and expressive. You get to know the characters a little bit more. I mean, look at these character portraits. They're like so wacky. I love it, but it's so good nonetheless. Um, so we're going to be, I think this is where there's a guy on the speeder bike. And we gotta chase him down. Yeah, this little hover bike thing. This is one of my favorite things to do in Gravity Rush. Uh, and the old one was to just jump off a really high building and then like save myself at the last second or um, like halfway catch myself and just start flying all over the place. Like that is one of my, okay, here's a better look at that loading icon. Look at that loading icon, like that, the animation, oh, it just looks slick. Uh, sorry, I'm a huge Gravity Rush nerd in case you <laughs> couldn't tell. I am very, very excited about this game. So, um, yeah, we got some thieves here, I guess. You know, we're in a new town, so there's going to be some new uh, villains. There were those guys in the first one. I don't think they make a return. Um, so these might be new villains. But uh, whatever's in those boxes, the Nevi are really attracted to. So 
yeah, like I said before, the I really like how this game feels. Um, being, I feel like this game is way more at home on PS4, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, Sony abandoned the Vita, you took took away one of their exclusives, but it's like, if this is giving an amazing series a chance at life that it wouldn't have otherwise, like I'm all for it. Like, depending on how this game turns out, I think that they said this is basically going to be the last Gravity Rush, just because it probably isn't going to sell more than like a couple hundred thousand, but um, it's becoming one of my favorite series uh it's just the pure gameplay the look uh the music like everything about it is kind of what i'm looking for and so now we're, i think we're about to get our first look at the um the lunar powers which i'm, I'm really curious to see how they're going to implement so you flick up on the d-pad and now you can fly really fast like you ha you almost have like no weight to you so if you if you like walk around you you like almost float like you're on the moon or something like that um hence the name Lunar, but uh, it's easier to hit these fast-moving flying enemies that can be kind of annoying, especially in the first game they were really annoying. Um, so now that they've given you proper tools to deal with them, uh, it should be a lot more fun to fight. And I think of the two, you know, maybe there's just not enough scenarios that they showed off in the demo, but to me, I I'm actually way more excited about um, the, the Jupiter powers, which we'll get to in a minute. Because uh, the lunar one, like I said, you're you're just sort of floating around, uh, and you move a little quicker, but not um, you, you can't do as much damage. It seems like, or it, you do damage in a different kind of way. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and like I was saying before, like one of my favorite things is just jumping off a, or just flying around this world. The the flying mechanics in this game feel so good. Like look at look how alive this city looks. This is just like one of many islands. So you're just flying around. There's cars in the air. There's people on the ground. Ugh, like I can't wait to explore this world. Like one of my favorite things to do in the original Gravity Rush was, as simple as this was, there were those little like purple crystals that you would spend to level up your abilities and stuff like that. I absolutely loved uh, looking for those because it was just so much fun to fly around that world. Uh, it was so much fun to like figure out like, okay, do I have to like, f you know, go upside down and walk on the underside of these buildings to, to get them all? Um, so I, oh yeah, yeah, I, I'm trying to beat them up. And then I think eventually I realized, oh, this is the, uh, this is where they want you to use the Jupiter powers, which are really fun. And I'll show you in a minute just why but they like when you, you can just slam into enemies um and so it's the opposite of lunar like lunar you're very um light and you can move around quicker jupiter you're a lot slower but oh you just destroy everything it's so cool um I, oh, see there's those birds i was talking about they're all just kind of standing there not really standing on anything typical open world bugs but um doesn't pull you out of the experience, at least not to me. So I'm okay with the silliness for sure. And then uh, we got ourselves a little boss fight coming up. And um, as well as, <laughs> I had chased that bird away, as well as uh, another familiar face. You know, we saw Sid earlier, or. You know, Cat is talking to Sid, who was, uh, you know, the the kind of up and coming cop in the last game, and now he, you know, because of Cat, he rose through the ranks. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of enemies here, so I'm just gonna start dealing with them with the uh, with the Jupiter powers. So I had um, this is kind of messed up, but I'll show you what I did earlier because the game is just trying to teach you, like, okay, how can I? Uh, use the powers in different ways. How can I defeat enemies? It's like, oh, use all the new powers. But one of my favorite things is picking up enemies with the uh, with the stasis field because you can, you know, obviously you can pick up like crates and objects and throw it at enemies, and that, you know, that's really effective because uh, usually, like, yeah, just took them all out. They're a lot more effective. But you can also be a sick murderer and just throw them right off the cliff. Bye, dude. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that you're I'm like straight up murdering that guy 
but I um, I just have so much fun doing it. Is, is that sick? Is that going to be kind of sick that, that, that I had as much fun as I did with that? And then, you know, there's one last guy. Bye-bye, dude. Hopefully you've got a jetpack or something. <laughs> um, yeah, and so then we've got... Uh, oh, here's... Oh, who? Yeah, Raven. Ah, and I love the music too. Like I love just like the the orchestral strings and like the the really like uplifting like the horns and stuff. Oh god, the soundtrack. The original soundtrack was good and from the few tracks that I've heard in this one, um I'm already excited to to get to listening. And yeah, it's cool. This this whole fight, Raven will help you. So I'm really curious. They, you know, w uh, not too long ago, or I think this was at PSX, they announced that Gravity Rush 2 will come with um, the Raven DLC for free. And I'm just like, that's super nice. I would have gladly paid for that because I love this game. And I, uh, you know, I bought all the DLC for the original. Although in the remastered version, it comes with everything. It's just basically like some costumes and... Uh, some extra like side missions and stuff just more things to keep you busy you know the other thing too about this game is that i think i knocked this robot off the cliff I, if i remember right i didn't know you could even do this because i i was trying to get the little the purple glowy spot but i want to say oh maybe it's not no, maybe it's this guy over here but anyway um yeah the original game was relatively short like unless you went out of your way to do all the races and the challenges and stuff like that like the game isn't all that long but oh yeah there it goes raven kicked it off <laughs> so uh the producer for this game uh, i believe he said that the game is going to be he said it's the world is three times as large so now i don't know if that means the game itself is three times as long i don't know but um i i'm hoping i mean it's a ps4 game full budget title 60 dollars. so i'm really hoping uh they put a lot into that and make it, you know, a full-fledged game. Now, I have a, a really big complaint with this boss fight because, like, as, as you'll see, the camera is just having so much trouble trying to figure out what to do. And it's like, if this if this boss was in a more open area, I feel like it'd be a lot more fun to fight. But because it's, like, in the middle of these streets, I'm, like, constantly bumping into walls, uh, like, trees. I just can't see what I'm doing. Like, see, I hit a tree there. Like... I'm, I'm really hoping that when the g full game comes out, you know, a lot more of these boss fights are uh, in kind of more arena settings. Like the, the normal enemy fights, you, you know, you fight them in more open settings and it's easier to, to do combat with them. But with this thing, it's on this really narrow street, It's the, the camera doesn't want to cooperate. And then you have to, even for me, like I feel like I know how to control in this game pretty well considering like I said I have the platinum for both both games but like so this boss right you hit the the purple glowing spots and then his weak battery on his back opens up uh, and you're able to damage him but every time I try to do it I'm running into something else and then by the time I finally get myself situated um, it closes so I'm yeah, I'm hoping they have the, uh, a better solution to uh, some of these boss fights, or, th or maybe this was just for the demo or boss fights. <clears throat> excuse me, and the full game will be um, a little bit better thought out. So uh, we're almost done here, and then we get a really cool super move. The anim I love the animation. Like I can really tell that they've they added a lot more detail to the character models, even coming off of the remastered version. Like the remastered version looks so much better. Uh, than the original Vita version, but um, and this one looks even better. Like, there's just more animation to the characters. It seems like they're more expressive. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do our super finisher. And I really like kind of how cartoony it looks. It's very stylized. You know, a lot of games these days are photorealistic, and they they move like like real people which you know if that's what you're going for that's fine but for me i'll take like a unique art style over um you know something photorealistic like any day of the week just because it's 
it's something different like look how cool this game looks um and that's pretty much the demo so guys if you play the demo um let me know what you thought if you haven't it's totally free go on the playstation store download it right now and uh game comes out really soon january 20th i can't wait gonna be the first game i buy in uh 2017 so definitely um if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and uh yeah like i said let me know what you thought of the demo and uh, if you haven't seen my near automata playthrough make sure to check that out so anyways guys thanks for watching see you next time